These elk are hungry. They like to eat and eat and eat. A few decades ago, that was causing a big problem at Yellowstone National Park in the USA. Their enormous appetite for leaves and bark was damaging the trees and the forests were starting to die. It was a problem that had started with the decline of the elk's top predator, the wolf. Back then, wolves were seen as dangerous, so they were hunted and killed. With fewer wolves left to hunt the elk, their numbers soared. The solution? Bring back the wolves. If there were more wolves, they would hunt the elk and reduce their numbers. That would allow the trees to grow back. But would the plan work? In 1995, 14 wolves were reintroduced to Yellowstone National Park. The wolves attacked the elk and the number of elk started to drop. The wolves didn't attack all the elk in Yellowstone, though. They only hunted the weakest elk, the ones that were easiest to catch. So the wolves actually made the elk population healthier, as now only the strongest elk survived. And on top of that, the trees also began to grow back. All these willows, all these stems that you see here were, were eaten by elk. But since wolves have been reintroduced, we, we saw it come back uh, before our eyes. Then, something slightly unexpected happened. Other animals started to benefit too, like the beaver. With more trees, beavers had something to eat and could use the branches to build dams to live in. So how did one animal change an entire national park? The wolves preyed on the elk, which allowed the trees and grasses to grow back. And with more vegetation, other animals, like the beaver, started to come back too making the whole ecosystem in Yellowstone National Park a lot healthier. So it looks as though the big bad wolf might not be all that bad after all. <laughs>